you so much. It's almost the end of the month and we're wrapping up our word peace. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you found your peaceful moments. You practiced my mindfulness and you learned a ton about the word peace. Today, we're going to read a book called A Little Peaceful Spot by Diane Albert. I found this book to be really um, engaging and really helpful to me. In this book, we talk about how each person's peaceful spot is different. Think way back to our first video, to my first video, in April, and think about how each one of those kids had something different or special to say about the word peace. Some of them thought that it was sitting out in the hammock in the sunshine. Some of them thought it was sleeping. Everyone thinks that their peaceful spot is a little bit different than someone else's. This book talks about how peaceful, how peaceful spots can be so different for everybody else and how sometimes our other emotions like anger and frustration and anxiety can all pour into our peaceful spot and that just makes us sad. So let's pay attention to our peaceful spot story and I can't wait to catch up with you later. Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be sharing with you A Little Peaceful Spot, a story about mindfulness, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Diane dedicates this book to her children, Ryan and Anna. Always remember, your peaceful spot is always there. You just need to find it. Hi, I'm a peaceful spot. Your peaceful spot helps you feel relaxed and calm. And today, I'm going to show you how to get to your peaceful spot. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. Ta-da! Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Because you are calm and relaxed right now, it's really easy to spot. But when a big spot of emotion shows up, it can become overwhelming. And then it can be hard to see this calm, peaceful spot. That's why it's important to look for your peaceful spot as soon as one of these spots of emotions starts to get too big. But first, you need to identify what spot of emotion shows up. Is it your angry spot? Are you feeling frustrated because you can't find something? Or annoyed because you tried to do something and it didn't turn out like you expected? Or your anxiety spot. Are you feeling worried about trying something new? Or scared that you won't pass your test? Or is it your sadness spot? Are you feeling lonely because no one will play with you? Or disappointed because you dropped your delicious popsicle? Each emotion can be managed in a different way. That is why it is important to identify which one you are feeling. Nervous, worried, scared, disappointed, lonely, lost, annoyed, hurt, frustrated. Once you have identified the spot of emotion, it makes it easier to guide it to your peaceful spot. If you are having a hard time figuring out which spot of emotion it is, it can help if you write or draw how you are feeling. Now it's time to turn that spot of emotion into a peaceful spot. Sometimes it helps to fill your peaceful spot with a lot of amazing peaceful things. Let's look at some times when you were peaceful. Let's add those things to your peaceful spot. Get some crayons and paper for some peaceful coloring. Or find some peaceful music. How about some books for peaceful reading and writing? Or some peaceful pictures for meditation? Let's add a chart for calm breathing too. Imagine a pattern of several green spots. 
Breathe in with the swirls and out with the dots. My emotions are now in this peaceful place. I will be calm when I leave this space. Here are some other breathing tricks you can do, too. Each saying is for a different emotion. Anger. Count the spots from one to four. Tap, 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 and tap once more. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and coat your spots with love and care. Anxiety. From the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm. I can do this. I can be calm. The worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. Sadness. Circle the spots in the middle of your palm. Count the swirls down to calm. Around and around and around twice more. One, then two, then three, then four. Each time you trace around the spots, take a deep breath to calm your thoughts. Oh, wow, it's working already. Look how calm he looks. And I love that big cozy chair too. Okay, I think I've given you enough tools to help you find your peaceful spot. I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. Imagine a pattern of several green spots. Breathe in with the swirls and out with the dots. My emotions are now in this peaceful place. I will be calm when I leave this space. Can you spot your feeling today? Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn, Peaceful Spot. Wow, that was a great story. I love how they said that even your peaceful spot can include coloring or peaceful music or peaceful pictures or meditation like we, like we did last week. Boys and girls, I hope that as the month of April is, is wrapping up, you're able to practice peace, find your peaceful spot, and use it moving forward. Have a great day, boys and girls.